she set out on a mission to change the conversation in this country about what it means to grow older. She said, and I quote, I believe getting older is not about aging. It's about living. We want to give people the opportunity to embrace aging as something to look forward to, not something to fear. To see aging is a period of growth, not decline. To recognize the opportunities of aging, not just the challenges. And perhaps most importantly, to see ourselves and others as contributors. Let me repeat that. To see ourselves and others as contributor to society, not a burden. In other words, disruptive aging. That is what our local AARP volunteers and many others working with the Senior Services Commission are doing with Age-Friendly Lexington. I invite you to discover more about how Lexington is transforming to become even more age-friendly. We have a local chapter that just celebrated its 50th anniversary with over 100 members. The chapter president is a dynamic lady named Carol Green. We celebrated the chapter's 50th anniversary of being a chapter last week. Now I want to briefly mention something we all can focus on, especially the graduates, medications, prescription drugs. Our government is broken. Drug companies are making billions in profits off of seniors and hardworking Americans. Congress needs to work together to pass legislation to lower prescription drugs. They need to do it now. How do we make a difference? We do it by being vocal, by being active, by voting, and letting our congressional people know our positions. Just because we get to be older doesn't mean we don't have a voice or we don't act and we don't stand for ourselves because we're passing the baton on to the next generation. Remember the saying, we the people. Specifically, we want Congress people to know, one, protect older Americans. No one should have to choose between food and medicine. Two, stop overcharging. It's time to crack down on drug companies for charging Americans the highest prices in the world for medicines they need. Many Americans travel to Canada to get their medication because it's cheaper. Three, stop driving up costs. The tens of billions of dollars the drug companies spend on advertising each year is shameful. And it makes drugs more expensive. They spend billions more on advertising than it costs them to develop the new drugs. Four, come up with common sense solutions to lower the cost of drugs. People of all ages depend on their prescriptions. Unfair prices are putting their medicines out of reach. You have a voice. You have a position that you must take to protect each other and those we pass the baton on to. We need a call to action. Do I look like a passive person to you? And you don't look like a passive person to me. To stop Congress from letting drug companies price gorge seniors and hardworking Americans. And we need them to pass bipartisan legislation to lower prescription drugs. Go to aarp.org and you will read a lot about this. Now, I would like the graduates to stand, please. I would like Billy and Daniel to go over here, please. Are all the graduates standing? Look this way. All right. <clears throat> you ready? Repeat after me. I will help to build a society where all people are valued for who they are, 
and not judge by how old they are. It begins with each of us as individuals viewing our own age in a more positive light. We'll discover new ways of living and aging. We'll discover products and solutions that will make it possible. We will fight for the aging, for lowering drug costs, and for being united. Together, we celebrate the day when aging no longer is something to disrupt. We celebrate who we are. We love aging. Now, I want you to stay where you are because Daniel and Billy will be passing out a gift from AARP. Congratulations, graduates. And I trust that you just took a pledge that you will uphold and that you will not only be fighting for aging, but for that baton we're passing. Congratulations, and everyone give the graduates a hand. Thank you, graduates. I'll conclude today by urging you to join AARP on our journey to disrupting aging and make Lexington an even more age-friendly city. Fight fraud, honor our veterans, fight to lower drug costs, and enjoy all life has to offer you in Lexington. Thank you, and God bless.